I know how easy it is to just go to the freezer and get some chicken nuggets, but if you make them yourself, they taste so much better and you've got control. You've got control of what flavours you add to your chicken nuggets. So today, that's what I'm going to be making for you. Asian style using lime and fish sauce as a marinade. So to start with, these are actually called goujons, which same as nuggets, they're just long strips instead of small pieces. So you can make this of any shape you like. I like the long strips today. So some free range chicken here. I've got two beautiful breasts and we're going just to cut them. I'm gonna start by cutting them straight down the center in half. I'll remove that tenderloin there. That tenderloin is so soft. So we're gonna use that as one and as the base of the shape for the rest of the goujon. So it's really important to get them the same size here. So we're just going to cut that one in half and you can see that this is just a little bit thicker. So it's as simple as cutting that in half. Now I like to use chicken breast for this recipe because of course there's no fat in it whatsoever and it just is faster to cook. So let's slice this one down the middle there too. And we've got the other one. So when we're talking about the tenderloin, that just comes off very easily. And again, slicing our chicken straight down here. So for the marinade, I've got some fish sauce and fish sauce sometimes can be a little bit overpowering but it does give this dish a wonderful saltiness. And once it's cooked, I promise, it won't be fishy at all, okay? It'll actually give it a wonderful meaty flavor. So just a tablespoon into a big bowl like this. I need two limes for this recipe. So I'm using the zest to start with. So I need a good hit of lime juice for this too. So the zest of the two and the juice. Now, usually when we're marinating, we always say not to marinate in lemon juice because it starts to cook the meat or any protein. But lime juice isn't as acidic as lemon juice. And I'll only be marinating this for a maximum of four minutes. It's just to give these nuggets or goujons an extra zing. So squeeze them, get as much juice out as you can. This one's lovely and juicy. And we'll get our chicken pieces. And with our hands, we'll just give them a really good coating. So remember, not marinating this overnight. Don't need to put them in the fridge. I mean, this is a really fast recipe, even faster than the bought ones. So for the crumbing section, I've got some panko crumbs here, along with some desiccated coconut. We want around even amounts of this. I want a good hit of coconut here. Some garam masala and you can add a little bit of chilli powder, just a touch. If you're doing from the kiddies and they don't like spice, of course, you can leave it out. OK, let's give this a good toss, making sure we distribute all those beautiful spices and coconut in that breadcrumb. All right, it's time to start crumbing. So we've just got a little line here. So chicken first, crumb, and then our pan. And into my pan, I'm going to add some coconut oil. Now, this is really interesting. It's becoming quite popular as another variety of fat to use. And look, it's good for you. And I actually love the flavour, more importantly, because we've got our coconut, our desiccated coconut, in our crumb. By adding this and frying our chicken in it, we'll give it a beautiful flavour. So I need around two to three tablespoons of coconut oil in here. And on top of it, it's got a high smoke point. So when you're just shallow frying like this, this is great. So let's just allow that to melt very fast. And let's start crumbing. So in to our crumb making sure that you press down quite a lot on here so we get as many crumbs on this as possible, of course, so it's lovely and crunchy. And it's as simple as popping them in the coconut oil and just cooking them for about one to two minutes on each side or until they're golden brown. are ready to go, of course, just some paper toweling here. We just want to drain off just a little bit of that coconut oil. I wish you could smell it in here. You can actually smell that coconut oil, that desiccated coconut. The garam masala, you can smell the chilli. Love it. All right. All we need to do now is present this. I've got a little bit of baking paper here. You don't need to do this. I just thought it would look quite lovely. And we just get our chicken and just pile it up. We'll just take a cheek off this lime, pop that on the side, and there you have it. Chicken goujons. There's no need to go to your freezer now and get the pre-made ones or go out and
and buy them. Make them at home. These ones are really good for you. They're delicious coconut-infused chicken goujons. I love them.